Hi there, back with another video review and here we have the 164th scale Pagani Zonda R produced by Tarmac Works. Now I'm just going to start off the review by saying that this looks amazing. And let's just kick off the review from the side profile. So in terms of the side profile, as you can see why I said this looks amazing, I mean just take a look at that. It does look really amazing, doesn't it? Uh, I mean, it's got all the curves done very nicely. And of course, you've got the side mirrors sticking out very realistically. And uh, might I add, this actually feels kind of sturdy. But of course, uh, you know, it's also fragile. So do be careful uh, when you're handling the model. And I also do want to point out that with the side mirrors, they actually feature, uh, you know, sort of a reflective effect or sticker. And uh, you know, just take a look at the door markings. You've got nice details with the door lines. You know, a lot of uh, fine details are captured in this 164th scale. So this one is the the hinge. You know, for the door to uh, open up. So you've got on both sides. And uh, you know, even on the door windows, you've got a gap over there, a hole over there. So you know, all these fine details are very very nicely captured by tarmac works and then you've got these uh well i'm not sure what you call this actually is this to cool down the engine well if you do know uh just feel free to put that down in the comment section below and uh you know you've got a very nice gold colored tire rims and uh does it roll yes it does and it does roll pretty smoothly now, in case you're wondering why some Tarmac Works models uh, roll, whereas some don't, uh, this one in particular falls under the Hobby 64, uh, sorry, the Global 64 range, which uh, technically are the ones that do roll and are uh, sort of a lower range compared to the Hobby 64 range, which is more of a collector's item for display. So yeah, uh, you know, even at the Global 64 range, it does pack a punch. It's got very, very nice details as I've already highlighted on the door especially. So uh, with the tires, it, they also feature the Pirelli and P0 label on it. And these tires are made out of rubber. So let's just move on to the front profile. So on the front, you've got that very aggressive Pagani look uh, and uh, also with the front headlamps, you know, these four dots, well, two on each side. These are actually, well, I'm thinking these are, are these actually plastic inserts? Um, I'm not sure, but I think it ac might actually, uh, you know, only be uh, painted on. And then, you know, just take a look at the paintwork. So on camera, I think it is also showing that it's got, well, it's not a glossy finish. Uh, it's got sort of a, uh, well, it does look kind of like a carbon fiber finishing. So pretty nice to see. And then on the top of the front hood, so uh, no gaps whatsoever, but uh, it does sort of uh, uh, go in as in, uh, indented inwards so that's not bad so let's just move on to the oh well before i move on to the other side uh, i do want to share that you know there is uh, this piece up there uh, which I think is for aerodynamic purposes so it's probably for the air to you know as the car moves uh, you know, air goes in and uh, sorts of uh, pushes the car down. Oh, I think this is what they meant by downforce. Hmm, okay, learn something with this 164th scale model. And, uh, you know, the rest of the side profile. No complaints, really. I mean, it is practically the same as the other side. And uh, well, I think there is a bit of a blemish on the tire at the back there. As you can see, it's not even. Uh, looks like it's actually um, chipped off on the tire rims. Yeah, I think over there as well. 
so pretty well there's a bit of a bummer but uh yeah i can live with that it's just a minor nitpick for me and uh, as we come to the back profile so again as i've mentioned this is the uh you know the lower range for tarmac works the global 64 range but all the details you know even on the back uh it's really really good not gonna lie it does look really really amazing i think i've said amazing quite a number of times today so you've got the diffuser uh, and as for the exhaust of so this quad exhaust over here as you can see it, it does look like a machine gun i mean just look at that it's you know really pointing out a lot protruding outwards and then for the tail lamps so these fortunately are plastic inserts placed very nicely at the back as well and uh well maybe i'm just gonna tilt it upwards and as you can see with the spoiler it does have the pagani label on it well obviously upside down and this is how the top profile looks like and here's the base so apparently my model has gone through four QC checks but I have no idea how you know this pass those four QC's anyway overall this is a great car <laughs> produced by tarmac works i mean uh notwithstanding the uh chip on the uh, tire rims on the other side uh you know in terms of value for money this is definitely a great piece of work or you know an art from tarmac works i don't know what i'm saying but uh, is it a must-have in anyone's diecast collection well obviously <laughs> well i guess that's all for now thanks for watching